Hello, Zebra. Hi. Um, last time I asked you about my um, past lives. Uh, now I want to ask you about uh, if you can say something about my future reincarnations. Okay, specifically anything or just in general? Um, I don't know, something that would help me. Okay. Well, the first thing is that the future isn't written yet because it will change depending on choices you make between now and then. There is kind of like a rough sketch because your soul had a plan for the lifetime. So there will be points that are kind of like fixed points and then all the details get filled in as you go along. So from your guide's perspective, it's like, hey, you need to be in the present because what you're doing in the present is impacting the future. So stop worrying about the future. Focus on what you can do now in the present to bring you joy and to expand your consciousness. That's really where your focus needs to be. And that will have that positive ripple effect as you go forward. Does that make sense? Okay. Thank you for uh, your message. And you said something about rocks? Yeah, if you can uh, tell me what rocks could uh, help me, uh, help my ailments. I don't know much about rocks. Let's just see if they have anything to say about rocks. Are there specific rocks that would be useful? What I'm getting is that there are a lot of rocks that would be useful. So when you are looking for crystals or rocks, tune in to the energy of the rocks. Make a resonance between your body, your soul, and those rocks. Feel whether there's a connection and go with that. Choose the ones that you feel guided to. But there are also a great many other things that can help you too. Like we talked about EFT earlier. EFT can be fabulous for physical ailments. So that's a tool you can use. It's what I'm feeling is it's more about opening yourself up to alternatives. Don't limit yourself to just rocks or just something else. Divine has given us and divine inspiration has given a great many other people these creations and inventions and there are so many tools that we can avail ourselves of so it's about experimenting with what's out there and finding the ones that have the highest resonance with you and then using those like for instance EFT it's emotional freedom technique that's what it set, it stands for and it was originally created to work to help people deal with emotions PTSD for instance it's fabulous with PTSD when I used EFT I didn't get anything with the emotional stuff. It just didn't resonate for me, so I stopped using it. But then I pulled it out and I used it for physical things, and I discovered, for whatever reason, EFT works fabulous for me for physical injuries or you know any other physical things. I used it for three months every single night for carpal tunnel, and at the end of that three months, I finally got relief, and it's mostly healed. And the doctors were telling me I had to have surgery. So that's pretty phenomenal that EFT can do that. It took a long commitment of time and, you know, keep tapping, but I had a lot of pain, so I was motivated. So if you can take that concept and apply it to your life, where are the pain points? Where are you motivated? What can you do about them? But don't limit yourself, right? Be open to exploring lots of options. There is a, a website you can go to. It's Marcel Vogel, V-O-G-E-L. I think it's .com. Try MarcelVogel.com. If that doesn't work, let me know and I'll, I'll guide you. But a friend of mine started this website to share with the world the teachings of Dr. Vogel because he was the one who started using the healing crystals. And there's a vast amount of data there on that site. So you may find that you're drawn to those healing crystals. They're using them in pranic healing and having great success. So that's another tool. Make sense? One last, one last quest, question. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me the, uh, the names of my spirit guides? Okay. So are there any guides who want to step up and identify themselves? I'm getting something that 
it started out sounding like Jane, but then it was it it kind of morphed into like Zsa Zsa. That makes sense. So there's a Zsa Zsa. Are there any others that want to identify themselves? Now this one's a wisecracker, identifying themselves as 23 skidoo. <laughs> I don't know if that has any meaning to you, but it's just, it's fun and flip kind of, you know, don't take life too seriously. That's what I feel from that particular one. Anything else? Okay, so what? Javelin, javelin is coming through, very clear and strong. That's interesting. So what is a javelin? Think about that. That's getting to the point. That's a spear, right? Forceful, confident, bold. Yeah, it, it makes sense. Okay, awesome. Truly really grateful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for being here.